Okay, Jake, I've got one suggestion for you moving forward, and I've been using Corey Seager with a lot of the guys. This is a new swing to illustrate. I realize everybody has different styles and everything, um, but I thought it was a pretty good illustration of, of, of what I want to talk about. So you can see that you're getting your back hip pinched, but as you watch, as you stride, you're going to see how you start to come up a little bit and you stay a little bit stuck on that back leg. And as you are coming down, it's starting to rotate a little bit. Now you do a nice job of having the reason, this is the reason why you hit the ball so hard, your exit velo is so high, is you keep your hands back real well as you start to engage your lower half. I think if you set your lower half up better, you can be even more efficient with your movements. Because as I was watching your swings, you see kind of the end result is a little bit of an around type of action. And to illustrate what I'm talking about here, so again, I like how you're working towards this back hip pinch, but I would like to see you just maintain that and go forward right from there instead of getting this little up climb that we see. Now as we come down, you can see we're still have a little bit too much weight on our back leg. Now if you watch Seager, and again, there are different styles, but you really see his back leg in control of his stride. And as he gets to toe touch, okay, you can see how he's in just a little bit more of a, a better, more level position for as he gets his heel to drive into the ground there, right? You can see how he hasn't started to drive any of this forward yet as far as like a rotation, right? He's still just getting linear force. Boom. See how he's driving with that back leg into the ground. Whereas we get a little bit of a hip climb and see how much that we've started to rotate as we're starting to get our heel into the ground. We're just setting ourselves up to be just a little bit around. And the, the thing, it, and this is why I like this Seeger video, is you can see as he gets to toe touch, let me take you back to toe touch here, okay? You can see, I'm going to zoom in on his back elbow, and see how it gets independent of his hands right there. See how it's starting to drop, 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 drop. How much he's gotten his back elbow to move before his hands. And if I zoom in on you, you can see how the two start to come together a little bit. So that motion with our back elbow in our hands versus both together. So as you play around with stuff, as you are not taking competitive swings in a game-like environment, again, I wish we had Seeger here early, or then the camera caught to him, but you can see that he's def oops, he's definitely got a back hip pinch, just like you have. But you can see how even here, we're just starting to climb a little bit. And just as you watch, you stay a little bit stuck on your back leg as you go up and down versus Seeger, who's just a consistent movement forward. So again, good with your hip pinch, but don't come up, just come forward so that we are getting our heel into the ground before we start to rotate. Where again, you see Seeger, cuts to about right here, back hip pinch, and he just maintains that level as he drives into the ground.